you know, I've been trying to get here for a while now, and uh, dealing with the cancer, and it going to my liver, and I knew I was not going to do no more chemo or radiation. I said, I'm going to go do this cleanse. And a lot of people helped me without me even asking them from the church. They just started making checks out and, and to get me here. And um, when I spoke to you and, and it was full and you, and you offered your home, so I said, I'm just going to go there. I'm just going to go there and just give, you know, give it my best shot. So when I got here, my spiritual walk was broken already. And Danny, thank you for helping me get back on my spiritual walk. I'll never, never doubt again, never. And I always have wanted to, someone to show me how to cook proper. So I'm real thankful for you, Charmaine, for taking the time because I know, you know, I used to cook a lot. It takes a lot of work. I didn't think I was going to get this much out of it. I just feel alive. I feel alive. I don't have all that noise going on in my head anymore. The improvements that I've noticed would be my mental clarity. And I feel stronger. My endurance has increased. My skin, I think, is better than it was. The changes that I will be making when I go home will be to continue the, the diet, um, the raw. The cleansing part of the program was not quite as difficult as I thought it would be. When I threw my pack of cigarettes away at the airport, I was just like, oh my God, what am I going to do, you know, and how am I going to live, and what if this doesn't work? And Well, the improvements I noticed was one that I don't have any craving to smoke a cigarette. I haven't had one since probably day two. Oh, and I've smoked for 40 years. I mean, the last two nights I've actually slept from 10 to 5. And I, I have always, for the last, I don't know how many years, I have woken up every three hours. I haven't been to church for like, you know, 15 years. So, you know, bad experiences and everything. And I want to know more, and I want to know more about that food. and the Bible connection. So I am going to find me a church to go to and get into some Bible studies. Hopefully it's the right church. If it's not, I'll go, you know, hunt around. I, I know I can't do this myself, so I know I need help. The outcome exceeds my expectation. From the five-day detox, it was very intense. I thought I will not be able to make it. On the fourth day, I was really kind of getting weak but then on the fifth day that we had food it was so excellent I, I thought I was in a five-star hotel and the service the people who helped us they are so very nice very accommodating you Danny and your wife Charmaine you are really Christian people the cold sheet treatment was really um, for me, it was very holy. <laughs> um, I really felt the Holy Spirit that was there. So I felt very peaceful and very confident to tell, you know, my story. I have been sharing this place since I came here. Uh, Bella Vita is really the place to go because it will heal you completely, as I said. Not only your body, but your mind and your spirit. Well, Bella Vida is a tremendous place to be. If you need spiritual encouragement, you get it here. If you need physical healing, you will get it here. If you need superb meals, you will get it here. If you want to have friends, they are here. And that is what Bella Vida means. I shared with you, Danny, that even before I came here, I saw your testimony, and that gave me a lot of encouragement. And this is about forgiving. And when I saw how this one worked, 
through the Holy Spirit. I said, wow. Only this morning when I woke up, I felt a little bit fatigued. And I remembered what I was told. Watch out. Your body is telling you something. And I realized I needed enema. And after I did it, I was straight up, energized, walked four miles, non-stop, not fatigued. When I came here, I was so much dizzy. I mean, I could walk a few uh, yards and I could feel that I'm not getting anywhere. But you check me now, I can walk five and I don't feel dizzy. I believe this is a place that God had founded for a purpose of helping his people. Well, before I came, um, you gave us a form to fill, fill out and from one to 10, you said about the expectations and I, I put 10. The highlight for me was the cold sheet treatment. And um, also, I am so glad you persevered with me, Danny. Uh, I was beginning to kind of, um, after the cold sheet treatment, that wonderful experience I had, I kind of like did doubt, uh, doubt it and Danny kindly rebuked me, which was good. I really appreciate that. And then the next day I, I said, I came with high expectations, so that's what I'm going to stick to. I'm just going to solely uh, get into the Word of God, claim His promises, and let nothing else um, disturb the peace that I had. The knowledge that God is now my husband. And um, that was a biggie for me because it just showed, it took my shift, my whole thought process away from my physical husband onto God. And I want to have that relationship with him in order to be the wife that he called me to be. I thoroughly enjoyed the food. It just exceeded my expectations. And I didn't realize that something so light, something so just vegetables could fill you up because I'm quite a big eater. Oh, I love mm. the walks and the saunas and the jacuzzi after the cold sheet treatment. That just really went down, make me feel so relaxed. When I came here and just saw this big house and uh, that every room had a bathroom and toilet. <laughs> it was just lovely. And um, the green, the, the, the trees and the river, the whole setting was so beautiful really nice. Yeah, I, I think my spiritual, I, I really absolutely got closer to God and that was one of my expectations too. And um, like I said, I'm so glad you did talk to me because uh, it just really brought me back into my relationship with God and how that needed to get stronger. So um, I'm glad that when I leave here, um, I've got a, a goal in mind. To, to have more, to spend more time with God in, my, in, in the Word of God, in the Spirit of Prophecy, and to have that closer walk with Him, to be the wife that He wanted me to be. So um, I'm leaving here with high expectations too, and by God's grace, I pray that I will apply that in my life. Bella Vida was a, just a blast, being with all the ladies, my new sisters. I have nine sisters now, well, ten. And a few brothers here, just learning how to detox. That's why I, I came here, was to detox, emotionally. For me, more than anything, that was the big thing. De-stress and detox and, and get nutrition at the cellular level. Learning how to do that, I learned how to do it. I want to go home and continue with the raw food diet. Yeah, I feel clean. I feel clean, the cleanest I've ever felt in years, probably more than my whole life. I just love that clean feel. Clean in my head, clean in my mind, my heart. We don't want to go home because this is our new home. I mean, this is home for us. How are we going to leave? <laughs> it's really fun here. The foundation of this program is based on the Bible. I loved it. I loved how you got us going every day, how you preached to us, 
how you motivated us, how you spoke to our hearts, how we felt the Holy Spirit's presence, how we felt angels in the house. I mean, we were blessed. This is a spiritual retreat, not just a, a cleanse. We really are detox from, from the evil in this world while we've been here. I like that part. The last 10 days at Bella Vida have been, been life-changing. I wasn't sure what to expect when I signed up. Um, the emphasis on the spiritual side caught me off guard, but I'm glad that it was in the program. There were some things that I needed to hear. Um, the experience at Bella Vida is it's transforming the whole person, not only physically, but spiritually and emotionally. And for a person to get well, they need to have all three. The reason that brought me here was physical, but I had some cleansing to do emotionally and some things to hear spiritually. So I plan to go home and make some changes with my diet. Charmaine's cooking was fabulous. If I could eat like that every day, I would, but when you get back to the real world, time constraints can play into that. But I'm going to do the best of my ability. Bought a couple of cookbooks, starting off easy, and then hopefully be able to build on that. I noticed within a couple of days, my puffiness had gone away, which for me is something I've struggled with for years, so that was a huge improvement. The cold sheet treatment was, was good. There was a lot of purging I needed to do, and the com camaraderie with everyone who's here has been amazing. You don't know what to expect coming in to a group of people you don't know. You don't know the people that are leading the program. Everybody was so open and honest. I've made friends here, and I plan on keeping in contact with them. Everybody was very open, and it meant a lot to me. I had a good time. I didn't know what to expect, and I was surprised when I, you know, found out what the program was, but I was pleased. I really came for a jump start on a better eating plan slash program. My eating it was so toxic, so I'm going to go home with a a promise to myself and to God that I'm going to stop being in such rebellion and eat the way God wants me to eat since we all know our bodies are a temple. And you know, Christ gave his blood for us and we're not supposed to destroy the temple. And I want to thank Danny and his wife and also I want to say thank you to the staff who was uh, very kind and loving the whole time I was here. I came here um, wanting to, wanting change. And, um, my prayer before I came was, God, I'm stuck and I don't know what to do. And, when I heard about Bella Vida, I knew it's got to work. So, um, my experience here has been that God pulled me out of my racing thoughts and my negative mind. And so, it was a real spiritual cleanse. And the talks were so good, and I needed it. And I felt like in the morning when I would wake up and pray, and I would ask God questions, and I would look in the Word, and I, would, I had very specific questions that I asked God. And during the talks, you answered it. The Holy Spirit totally gave me an answer. So um, my mind has been clear. Walking has been really uh, 
I don't know, I could get up and go for a walk and feel energized. At home, I felt like I had so much fatigue and I still felt a little tired here, but it felt more like rest, more like um, healing. The walking, the exercising, um, being out in the fresh air, I had a lot of peace um, and I had some struggles, but uh, God helped with that. I want to tell people that Christ cares and He has the ability to heal and to transform. And I feel like that's what He's doing for me here and I feel like um, I'm not afraid to tell others that God can heal them too. I knew after my diagnosis, God just revealed a lot of different things to me in his time. He slowly revealed to me about the ten natural laws. Before I came here, I really wanted to know like, what the background was because I knew I needed to follow the ten health laws. But what was really important to me was I needed to know the background of this place because I've had a relationship with Jesus for the last year and a half and I needed to make sure that this was a solid place and I found out that evening that they were Sabbath keepers so I was sold right there because I thought if they're Sabbath keepers they've got to be walking that line um, the narrow path so as I kind of researched a bit more about Bella Vita I found out that um, this this experience might have a lot of God stuff in it. And I got to the point where I didn't even really care about the nutrition anymore. I wanted God because I knew my cancer diagnosis was a wake-up call because you can't love God unless you love Him with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and you need to surrender it all to Him. And He is my loving husband now. And... So I needed to change the temple of God and because I was totally, it's, what I was doing was totally per perverse and, and um, was not good for my body. So the biggest thing for me, I think, would be just the emotional healing that has taken place. God and I have been working on that and healing my heart, but now there's been an emotional after the cold sheet treatment. There's been an emotional healing done now, so I know exactly what to do now emotionally, um, working with stress in my life, moving forward. I'll continue with the 10 um, health laws, and um, I've got a savior now that's, we're going to be, we're going to be like this. <laughs> what I really enjoyed the most, we've all talked about pooping and everything. I really enjoyed the enemas. <laughs> a year ago, if you told me I was going to have an enema, I'd be like, uh, 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 I don't even know where that is, okay? So, like, to have an enema. Anyway, that was my favorite because I know that I've got a lot of toxins in my liver and we're getting that dumped and we're getting that dumped. Um, everything, all the ten laws are so important to me. The skin brushing, going crazy on that, got the red going on the skin, like everything, the saunas, the cold showers, I kind of cheated a little bit on those, okay, like they were not really, <laughs> I couldn't go cold, cold, but maybe I'll get more mature and we'll be able to work on that a little bit, but um, physically, like I'll continue when I go home, I've got major juicing to do, I'm going to have to do 13 8 ounce juices a day, um, I'm going to have to do my lemon water flush. I'm going to do my exercising. Um, but my main thing is loving my husband, the Lord, and getting into his book, his word. That's, that's the most important. That's going to be the most healing. And another thing that's, I've really, that's helped me here is I'm sleeping through the night. I haven't slept through the night in 40 years. Like 40 years! Like, was I with Moses in the desert? I don't know where I was, but um, yeah, 40 years, and now I'm sleeping through the night. Amen to this place and to everyone. Like, I just, you guys, I need your help. I need your support, and I'm going to support you guys. And thank you to all the staff. They've been wonderful, amazing. They've taught us how to have 
good relationships with people, how to have good relationships with husbands and wives, <laughs> and to give it to God. Will I be recommending Bella Vita to anyone? Let me think. Absolutely! Are you crazy? <laughs> Absolutely, everybody, anybody, like just for the, for the relationship with Jesus alone, we've been taught so much and I know that we're on the right path. We're not off on fanaticism or we're not going crazy on anything, like we're on the right road on everything. This is a full, on every level, this is an amazing program and everybody needs to come here so you're gonna have to maybe do it once a week like you have to invite the whole world here <laughs> yes